Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed it is. Let's take a look outside. Yeah, look at that. That is a beautiful view out of the window of a trucker this morning. Look at that. Look at that yellow field in the background over there. Yeah, just about nobody left anymore here at the truck stop, but uh, you know, I don't really have nothing in the rush. Uh, the guy told me last week Friday that uh, they got another truck in there this morning, so I can't get in there till about 12 o'clock, he said. So uh, basically no rush for me to get over there, right? But uh, yeah, we're just getting our morning started here. It's already uh, 9.30 Manitoba time, 8.30 uh, Alberta time, I guess. But uh, I wanted to show you guys. I still do have my flowers over here. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, look at that. They're still looking pretty good. Yes, indeed they are. But let's get our day started. Let's hit the road. Are you guys ready? Let's fasten your seatbelt. And that's coming right along with the truck of me today. coming into Edmonton ladies and gentlemen look at all the construction that we got going on over here I turn my CB off so that doesn't make any noises but yeah this is kind of really hard over here I think I shown you guys this last week or last week I mean last time I was uh, I was in Edmonton area that this is all terribly over here you know? There's really no proper signage either, like where Highway 16 is supposed to continue on, or it's really hard to follow this, you know. But it looks like to me, anyways, that we have made the right decision and taken the right lane, or what you want to call the right direction lane, anyways. So it looks like we are in a good in a good position right now, but yeah. This is going to be completely different once they're done with all of this construction up here, but looks like they're going to be busy for a good while yet. <laughs> they got so much stuff going on over here, it's unbelievable. But yeah, I just talked to our customer here and uh, our place where we're supposed to deliver to, and they said, yep, they're ready for me, so, uh, so we'll go in and deliver this load. I talked to them to see exactly where it's at, because... Uh, there's a new business going up over there and we're bringing them all kinds of stuff so that they need to build that place so so yeah anyways uh, we'll go ahead and try and make our way down there and see how long that's going to take us to get unloaded over there hopefully that ain't going to be too bad but yeah that's the plan anyways, we'll uh, make the best of it. Looks like we're just about out of the construction now, out of the bad construction anyways. So now the GPS should be able to route us to where we want to go. Yeah. We only got about 20 more kilometers to go before we will be at our uh, delivery place. So that's fantastic news. But yeah, welcome to Edmonton, ladies and gentlemen. We are now officially in Edmonton. Yes, indeed we are. Beautiful sunny day. So that's going to make it easier for uh, for them guys up there to unload. And it's also going to make it easier for me to get in there. Because uh, if it was raining or anything like that, I would have to be really worried about going in there. Because trucks are heavy, you know, and they can sink real quick. You gotta be careful on that so hopefully we don't get ourselves into trouble over there yeah that's the last thing we need right well we gotta go all the way through Edmonton in order to get to our delivery it's actually on the northwest side of Edmonton where we gotta deliver to so yeah Got a bunch of traffic lights we gotta go through before we can get there, but speed limit reduced the We'll make it, right? I think so. I sure think so. But yeah, I could have probably left a little earlier and they would have probably taken me because uh, 
Well, Friday when I called them, they said, uh, you know, don't come before noon because they got another truck coming in there. And no, I'm still a little earlier than noon. It says at 10:30 uh, I'll be there, but uh, sounded like they were all ready for me. So could have probably been in uh, even a little earlier, but oh well. That's the way it goes, you know, when they tell you you can come in for lunch and then you're already coming a little earlier than that and then you <laughs> suspect that they're not going to be wanting to see you yet and then when you call them and it's like, yeah, we're ready for you, then, well, then you kind of like, oh shit, I could have left earlier, you know, and probably would have been ready for me, but, oh well, you know, I still be there earlier than, than lunchtime, so that's that's good. So we'll see how fast that unloading process will be. If it's not going to take too long, then we will be able to uh, get a good ways towards our second delivery. You know, like that will be fantastic. I would love that. I could probably make it into British Columbia yet today. You know, like a good ways probably too. Like because it's uh, two hours behind our time. You know, like Manitoba time. I could probably get me uh, just about a full day of work to driving yet today before the sun goes down over here in British Columbia, you know? Because let's say the sun goes down at 10 o'clock at night, well, that's 12 o'clock our time. So that means, you know, even if I leave here right now, I probably at least have 10 hours before it gets dark, you know? So that would be awesome. Or maybe even 12 hours from right now, but you know, by the time I'm unloaded and stuff like that, it'll be a few hours, so. I might still have nine hours of daylight, you know. And that would be fantastic. I get me a good drive in yet today and then I could be in and uh, into my delivery there tomorrow mid-morning or something like that, you know. That would be awesome. But yeah, this is Edmonton for you guys. Looks like we got a little bit of construction coming up here too. Looks like they got the right lane closed, so. Yeah, they got three lanes generally going through this area here, so the right lane is closed. We still have two lanes here, so that should be all right. I have just gotten unloaded, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed, we have just gotten unloaded. And we have not been uh, taken away our load. Our load has not gotten taken away from us, so uh, guess what? We're hammered on to BC. Yes, indeed. We got us about 1118 kilometers to go to our delivery place. Yeah. So, that looks like uh, because it's BC time, we will be able to uh, probably deliver tomorrow because I called up the customer and told him when I think I'm going to be there. And and yeah, so we uh, will probably be delivering there tomorrow afternoon. And then hope for a reload, right? That's the plan. Yes, indeed. Are you guys ready to come and roll with me into the big mountains today? I hope you are. Because today, I think unless something goes wrong, we're going to see some big mountains yet. I'm sure we will. Some beautiful sceneries. Yes, indeed. So if you are ready, let's fasten your seatbelt, ladies and gentlemen. And let's put the hammer down and hit westbound on Highway 16. Yeah. We got 345 kilometers to Jasper. I believe Jasper is already in British Columbia. So uh, yeah, so then we should be in BC. Yeah. This is the beginning of the big mountains to come, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. We are definitely starting to come into the big hills. Well, just the beginning of it, right? But yeah, we are coming into the big mountains. Yeah, looks like there's even a little bit of tiny little spot up there of snow. It looks like that anyways. Can't quite tell if it really is, but that's what it looks like. I doubt if the camera is picking that up, but, but yeah. 
This is the beginning of some months. Yeah. We are traveling on the Highway 16 at the moment. Yep. And we will be on here for a little while yet until we get to uh, Kamloops. And we'll be on the Coca-Cola Highway. Yeah, there is definitely some snow. I can see it up there on the other mountains up there on the top there. Little tiny spots here and there, you know. We got a little bit of a rest area here to the right. Yep. Anyways, some beautiful sceneries to come, that's for sure. Hope I can uh, actually show you some goodies today, you know. I really hope so anyways starting to get a little bit cloudy today talking to JP there earlier he said there were uh, having some thunderstorm watches out there in uh, Calgary so luckily we are just north of that but you know it could just may as well hit us you know like it did kind of like yesterday you know start getting real windy and start raining really really heavily all that good stuff but yeah I guess since it's been a long weekend here we got quite a bit of traffic on this highway today generally you don't have a whole lot on here you know especially up here it's but then again there's a lot of people going to Jasper uh, and they uh, they apparently have nice uh, spots over there for visitors you know in two kilometers slide dry done trans canada highway highway 16. all right all right I'm not sure what these guys are all slowing down for but they're all slowing down didn't see no sign saying that we were supposed to slow down but oh well i guess they just want to see the sceneries and that's what we want too, but we still want to get some good miles in, right? That's the plan anyways. Already talked to the customer earlier. Got it all lined up that we can deliver there tomorrow afternoon. As of right now anyways, so... Looks like we're going to be coming into some kind of... Speed limit reduced to ...thing up here. Jasper National ahead. Park of Canada. I guess this is where the uh, Jasper and all that stuff starts. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where they have that uh, place where you gotta pull in and make sure you. Uh, in 400 meters, slide dry done. Trans Canada Highway, Highway 16. I guess you pay for your uh, park passes if you need a park pass, right? Yeah, hopefully they are not going to hold us up too much. I think I'm going to try and get into the right lane up here. But yeah, this is basically, I guess, that for all the uh, all the people that go camping up here to get their park passes and stuff like that up here. So I said it the other time already when I come through here, I don't know why they couldn't make a bypass lane for for the ones that don't really want to get a park pass, you know, like, bypass. Continue on this road for 153 kilometers. Oh, well. Anyways, this is what it looks like. Jasper Park of Canada. Now, I guess most of these guys here in the right lane, they already got uh, park passes, so we're good to go. Yeah, I know we are good to go. Yeah. Look at that. And we got a couple of four wheelers. They decided to pull right over over here, right? Eh? It's a bit of a dangerous spot. But I guess that's where they wanted to pull her over, so. Anyways, we will keep you guys posted. We'll show you what we can. Ladies and gentlemen, are you guys ready to come into British Columbia? Well, we are just about to enter it right about now. I don't know if you see the blue sign up here. But yeah, here we go. Here we go. 
Welcome to British Columbia, ladies and gentlemen. Cross Mountain. the border, entering British Columbia. Bison Changing Park or something zone. like that? Bison Park or something? Yeah, here we are. We are now officially in British Columbia, ladies and gentlemen. Are you guys enjoying the beautiful sceneries up here? I sure hope you guys are. Yes, indeed. We're just giving her today. Yeah, I guess they got a little bit of a pullover area up here. You can go use the restroom if you need to. Yeah. Finally, we got out of the... Uh, I guess uh, national park areas or stuff like that. Man, there was a lot of traffic up there. A lot of campers and stuff like that. They even had a little bit of construction going on up there. It's a delay after delay, you know. But it looks like we're finally out of that. And I gotta say, I thought Jasper was in British Columbia, but I guess I was wrong. They are in Alberta. Yeah, we've been getting a few rain showers every once in a while here lately, but nothing bad, you know. Looks like we're going to be getting another rain shower here pretty soon. It looks like that way anyway, so starting to cool off right now. I have to turn my uh, temperature up a little bit. But yeah, there we go. Now it's starting to drizzle. Oh my, there's even one guy up here with a bike. I would not want to be riding this with a bike. I guarantee you that. These big hills up here. No way I would want to be on here with a, with a bicycle. <laughs> oh wow. But anyways, it looks like we got about another five hours to go till we will be in Kamloops, BC. So we got our work cut out for us, but that's all right. That'll be about 11 o'clock tonight by the time we get there. That's Manitoba time, though. So that'll be about 9 o'clock BC time. Yep, October 1st to March 31st is the period where you need to carry tire chains up here in British Columbia. Yeah, that's what the sign just said up there. High Mountain Road. Sudden weather changes. Cautious. That's what the sign said. So yeah, I guess now we're officially going to start getting into some uh, bigger mounds. But oh wow, look at this beautiful scenery up here to the right, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful uh, river or lake, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, very nice. I like that. Beautiful sceneries up here, that's for sure. BC Park. That's what the sign says up there. It's supposed to be a park up here somewhere. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, they even got a little pullover area up here. You can go to the river. Go for a little swim if you feel like it. But I bet you that'd be really cold up there though. Yeah, probably would be. All that snow melting up there in the mountains. So all that water is coming down into the river up here, you know. So probably be pretty cold. Alrighty guys, this scale is today is closed. Yeah! They are definitely, right now anyways, they were closed for me. Oh, looks like they are open the other way. Wow, yeah, I guess because they are uh, packed in there, they decided One to kilometer. close. Keep but... to the left on yeah. Yellowfoot Highway, Highway 5. Wow. Yeah, usually they are open less. I mean, every time I come through here, they've been open, so... This time they were closed for my side anyway, so... I guess we'll see if they're uh, still going to be open for this guy here, but... I'm going to keep my eye... Yeah, they're open that way. Definitely. Oh, well, I guess my lucky day today. I can go around. Yeah, that's right. But up here we gotta make a left 
to go on to Highway 5, it says. In 300 meters, and I do to know the left that. on Yellowhead Highway, Highway yeah, 5. Yeah, that's right, Yellowhead Highway. Indeed. So, we're going to be going this way towards Cam Loops. That's the place we want to go to, so that's good. I'm going to go over this river up here. I don't Continue know if you can see it. Fraser River, I think that's what it's called. Wow. It runs all the way down here, eh? Wow, that's, that must be a really long river then, because I know up there by Abbotsford it runs right through there as well. Yeah, it looks like more construction going on, it looks like. Kamloops, 341 kilometers. Yeah, that's a long ways yet. <laughs> that is sort of my goal for tonight, either that or Merritt, but that's going to be a late one. I don't know if I want to drive that late. What I might do is just stop earlier and then that way I can start earlier tomorrow, but at the same time I kind of wanted to have less miles to drive tomorrow, so that way if I do get me a reload I could do another late night tomorrow, but maybe not maybe that ain't gonna happen but yeah it looks like we're gonna have to come to a stop wow looks like they toured the whole Asheville down over here everything down to gravel oh well all right then <laughs> Let's take a look out of the window. Yeah, it's still sort of 
drizzling on and off but we do see some mountains up there a few hills up there yeah a little bit up there as well but yeah we're here at this uh, little so uh, card lock truck stop whatever you want to call it it's in berry bc yeah it's a weird name but <laughs> i'll show you right there berry -ri. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce that, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. We got 400 kilometers to go to our delivery for tomorrow, so uh, yeah, we're gonna have a couple hours driving, but uh, we should still be there by lunchtime, I would think, or just after lunch. So, uh, so yeah, we're only about uh, 45 minutes away from Cam Loops, but. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go to the back there and edit some videos up for you guys. So, uh, hope you enjoyed today's little vlog. We'll catch you right here tomorrow morning on Trucker Rudy. Hey, if you haven't hit that subscribe button down there, we would appreciate it if you did that. And also, we appreciate if you guys share our videos. So, thank you very much and have a good one. behind me that day is gonna come i'm breaking the walls down